Welcome to the Athlete to Athlete series. My name is Rennie Kern. I'm a former professional athlete, speaker, leadership coach, and the founder of the Game Changers Foundation. Our mission is to help current and former athletes in sports, business, and life. Each week, we'll be bringing you top former athletes to share tips, tools, and strategies to help you change the game on and off the field. Our series is made possible through our amazing sponsors, the Sports Turf Company. This week's guest on the Athlete to Athlete series comes straight out of Monroe High School. She is an Olympic medalist who runs the 100 meters, the 60 meters, and so many others. So I want to welcome onto the show, Javion Oliver. Javion, what's going on? It's so good to have you on the Athlete to Athlete series. Hello, thanks for having me. How are y'all? I'm doing great, doing great. Just glad to see you got the USA shirt on looking official. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the first question I always like to ask every one of our guests is just to tell me a little bit about your journey, man. What led you to becoming that silver medalist and, and that, you know, USA just, just superstar? Oh, uh, well, it kind of started when I was younger, when I used to just run around like at recess and I get my cousins, we were guys. And I think that's what developed the, showed me that I was an athlete. So uh, I actually started I tried out for the track team, like, in eighth grade. Absolutely hated it the first day. Tried to quit. I ain't had nobody pick me up from practice, so I stuck with it. Mm. And ever since then, it's just, I mean, it's been a different year every year. Uh, I've been running track since I was 13, so for 13 years. So Wow. It's been a journey. <laughs> oh, yeah. And just, like, for, for so many of those watching right now, they're in high school, they're starting recruiting and all that. So just take me back to that moment. What was that like for you? What was maybe a challenge that you faced that you had to overcome? Um, with recruiting, I think one of the challenges was being, it's more like a business. And I think going from high school straight into like college, you don't really know like the big responsibilities in picking a school and the academic and the track. So that was one of the hardest things. I was just excited to be going to college. So right. <laughs> whichever whichever school was offering whatever, I was like, you know what, I'll take it. But um, yeah, that was the most complicated with recruitment. You have to kind of grow up really fast and take the time to do your research. Something I didn't do, but yeah. for kid, kids growing up and looking into schools, I think that they're more prepared than I was. Mm. And, you know, you were able to achieve something, obviously, that so many people wish that they could achieve. It's, you go to any high school, any, pretty much anywhere in the world, there's people running track doing the same events that you do. But for you, what was uh, some of the things that you did that really set yourself apart early on? Um, I think one of the, actually, it's really just a learning score. I think this past year is one of my biggest learning years. I learned that this sport is, physical but it's mostly mental yeah so this is the first year I actually took my mental into consideration like mental health and yeah thinking more at practice and it's not just being strong and running fast it's taking care of you from head to toe so uh that's one of the challenges I I had to learn to overcome because growing up and even in college I didn't really understand the mental aspect of the sport nor did I really kind of care so I was like you know what I'm strong enough and fast stuff it'll work out and no, it's a huge, huge part in the sport and probably any other sport is that mental, your mental capacity. Yeah, I mean, you're so right. I'm so glad that you mentioned that because for so many of us, we're, we're young, we're fast, we're strong, like you said before. But if you don't take care of this, then it, it almost doesn't matter. You're going to crash eventually. So I'm, I'm so glad you mentioned that. So, so important. And um, one other question I had, and I, I, I love asking this question, is what was that moment? Uh, where you just knew, like, you had something different? Like, was it a specific race? Was it something specific that happened that just kind of gave you that, like, uh, that, that tingly feeling where you're like, man, I got something. I I'm going I'm gonna to go somewhere. Uh, I don't think I had it. I think I go into every track meet feeling the exact same, like, mm. completely anxious, completely nervous. I don't really go into it thinking, like, yeah. oh, this is going to be the day. I just kind of take it race by race, step by step, and just let let everything happen, and I still don't get that feeling. I mean, I have a medal, and I still feel like there's so much improvement. So I still don't feel like 
Yeah. I, I've made it yet. I feel like yeah, I still man. have a lot to prove and a lot of things I want to accomplish before. No, I, I love that that mentality and everything. You're, you're exactly right. And just for where you are now, that, that says a lot that you still have that mentality of where you're just going to approach it, you know, the same way, keep the same mentality and, and keep growing and keep learning. That's amazing. And um, one, one other question I had uh, was, you know, now that you are in the position that you're in, you have that platform. What are some of the things that you're trying to do to, um, and this, this goes for those athletes as they continue to think about transitioning and, and um, you know, not just making it to the highest level, but what they're going to do after. Like, what are some of the things that you try to do to leverage your platform and prepare for life after? Uh, well, of course, like I went and got my degree and I'm still in school because why not? Uh, so that's more so for after track. Um, I know talking to a few like kids on Instagram and things like that, now that I have a platform, right. I try to give them advice that will help in track and in life. So if track isn't, doesn't go their way, that doesn't mean like trying to quit and not do anything. So I usually tell people to focus on you and take things day by day, but it's really just once you put all your focus on you and not worry about what the next person's doing or yes. where you should be or you see someone ahead of you, that's where you'd rather be. Just focus on where you are now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think that helps in everyday life too. So Yeah, I love it. Stay in your lane, right? <laughs> Yes, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, just to wrap up, how can those watching, we got tons of high school athletes, tons of people aspiring to be where you're at, whether it's in track or in football and basketball, how can they get in touch with you and, and keep up with you as well? And any last advice uh, or words of encouragement that you have for them would be good too. Uh, the best way to probably get in contact with me is social media. I try to read my requests, but sometimes they go miss, but I try. Um, and the, that, the biggest advice is always going to be the me versus me mentality. I think mm. once you really just focus in on you and what you want to do, whether, whether you meet your goals or not, I mean, you get back up and try again. But I personally learned when I focus on myself and not what the next person is doing or what the girl beside me in this lane is doing, I've had the most success. So that's my biggest advice is your journey is yours. It doesn't matter if it's it's not like how you think it should be or how someone else's is because my journey wasn't easy. I didn't come out of college. Top sprinter in the world, you know, contract. I didn't even think I could make an Olympic team a few years ago. So I yes. focused on me and, you know, things worked out. That's amazing. Thanks so much for sharing. And uh, next time you're in Georgia, I'm going to have to challenge you to a race just to see how, how <laughs> fast, <laughs> fast you are. But um, I really, really appreciate you being on for all the wisdom and knowledge that you share. I wish you continued success and thanks so much for being on the Athlete to Athlete series. Thank you for having me. Yes. Athlete to Athlete presented by Sports Turf Company and the Game Changers Foundation.